This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your eyes. Word. We got some uh, really outstanding people here today. I call them contributors because in the game you got a lot of customers. And what I mean by that is they only they only benefit from the game, but they don't provide to the game. Mm. And uh, when they do, I got to recognize them right now. I got one of Harlem's finest with me right now. Ron Browser's here right now, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Yes. Man, welcome to the show, man. Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely. I see you. You know, your name ring bells in the neighborhood I live in now. Yeah, yeah, Harlem, man. I'm like the mayor out there. You are the mayor out there. <laughs> I was watching an indie movie and, and saw Ron Browse all up in the movie. <laughs> My neighbors shot this movie, and I was like, okay, let me watch what they're doing, man. And it was actually a really good movie. Yeah, it's called Toddlers, man. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it made it to CNN. And, and yeah. it, what, I, what I really appreciated about it is that you didn't have to be in that movie because of who you are and what you've accomplished. Yeah. And, and then you still supported the local neighborhood yes, dudes, yes, right? Yes, yes, oh, that's, yes. That, that's how I got started anyway. Yeah. I always supported, you know, just people in the hood man. Uh -huh. yeah. doing beats for people in the hood and just i that's how i got nice yeah because i wanted to make people in the hood sound good mm -hmm. and so that's how that that transpired when did you that. get started like when did you decide okay i want to produce what was it that made um you? i actually wanted to rap first okay and then um i met big l and mm. I, I gave him Ebonics. Mm. I produced Ebonics like straight Damn. out of high school. Wow. That's hard. So, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. A lot of Word. people don't know. I, I produced Ebonics like straight out of high school. Uh huh. So yeah. I was like, oh, this must be my path. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So I kind of ran with that. Big L, man. How, what was L like in the studio, man? Like, how did he, um, did he write? Did he come off the top? L, L had things like premeditated. Uh -huh. Like when he came to my house. He's like, yo, play me something. Ebonics was the first beat. He was like, yo, let me put that on tape. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And he came back to my mom's crib. like, yo, let me see how it sound on tape first. Uh -huh. Then we did it on tape, and then we went to D&D Studios, premiere yeah. joint, and laid it down, and it was a classic. Yeah, and that, that pretty much was your first big break, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your second? Ether. That was it, huh? Yeah, yeah. After Ooh. Ether, it was like, yo, who, 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 that, who that, man? Yeah, yeah. That, that Ether... You know, we we a lot of us didn't know if, if Nas was gonna be able to recover from that. Uh, that figure four he was put in. He was in a he was in a figure four. The takeover, man. I mean, it was like, damn, how how is he gonna recover? But the beat was just yeah. so raw, and it's just. Did he come in the studio to record this, or um, you sent it he, to him? He held the beat for like six, seven months. I was like, man, he ain't gonna use that beat, uh -huh, man. Uh -huh. And then he called me like, yo, come to the studio, man. I want you to hear. It. Yeah. And when he played it, I was just like, yo. <laughs> I'm in some trouble now. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Did, did you like, did you get a lot of backlash because of making that beat? Um, nah, it actually went the other way. Uh huh. But I think for the Rockefeller dudes, I think I think they might have took it personal. They might think I orchestrated the yeah, you know, the hit. I ain't orchestrated it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just produced it. Okay. You know what All I'm right. Saying? So um, I actually worked with a lot of artists after that. You know, Fat Joe, yeah, called uh -huh. Lil Kim, uh huh. Uh, Ludacris, 50 yeah. Cent. I worked mm -hmm. with everybody right after that because they was like, Yo, who did that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was a good look, but I never got to work with Jay. So tell Jay I got some beats You got for some him. beats for Jay? Okay, all right. He's from <laughs> he might be tuned in. You never know. Yeah. That Pop Champagne joint, man, that was, the, uh, that was the one I feel like that really took it over the top for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you, Pop Champagne, I was just playing around with Pop Champagne yeah. too. Uh-huh. Yeah, and it became a hit. Yeah. What, yeah. How do you play around and make a hit? I don't understand. What's the? Um, <laughs> you played around just, and made a million dollars. I mean, just, damn. just in the studio, just like bugging out, uh -huh. and then I let people hear. They was like, "Yo, I, I think you got some." I was like, "For real?" And I just start bringing it to DJs, and DJs was like, "Yo, this joint is kind of tough." Uh huh. And then it just, you know, you, Jim heard it on the radio and wanted to be a part of it, and then Joel jumped on it. And then it was just like a movie. Yeah. yeah. And then the rest is history. Yeah. Jumping out the window. Jumping out the window. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh that that idea actually came from my boy Tone Wap. You know, uh -huh. after Pop Champagne, people was kinda unsure what I was doing. He was just like, Yo, just just do your thing, man. Just yeah. jump out the window with it, man. Don't don't listen to the haters or whatever. Just just jump out the window with it and just do your thing. And do your thing, man. Yeah. Ron Browse is here, man. Uh, yeah. This is crazy, man. You got a new project too, right? Um, yeah, I got relatively a, I got a couple things going yeah. on. Shout out to um LL Cool J. I produced a joint called I'm Nice. Mm -hmm. Which has LL, That's Murder Mook, and uh, Raekwon on it. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, we got that right. 
yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we played that. We played that in the A and R room. As soon as, as soon as you final put that put out that final mix, we was the first to rock that. <laughs> That was and a tweeted hard one. that out. LL actually, I tweeted it out, and L actually responded to my tweet. Oh, that's dope. Yo, L's like, you know, we always had this conversation about when we talk about the greatest, and we always mention Big and Pac and Jay and Nas, and you know, which rightfully so, we should be mentioning yeah. them, but we should also be talking about LL Cool J. Yes, yes, right? definitely. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it feel cool to have L on the horn. Like, yo, what's up? What you doing? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's L. <laughs> Come on, Ron, you know you want to get ill. Yeah, I always yeah, like yeah, that yeah. scene from um, I Need Love, Heather B when they're in the hot tub. And L was like, yo, come on, get in there. Oh, That's uh, the uh, last time L put dudes in his video, too. <laughs> really? Yeah, he was no more blocking on him. Okay. <laughs> that was it after that. L was solo. Oh, he was solo, right? For the rest of his videos. Ron Browse <laughs> brought, brought, some, um, brought some beats with them today. Dope. Um, for I'm our, excited. For our special guest MCs. One of them is no stranger to Sway in the Morning and no stranger at all, man. I've known this dude for years. He got the 88 crack era uh, a mixtape that, you know, yes, we've, been, we've been singing about. No right? doubt. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He's a, a true, tried, and tested lyricist right here. Give it up for Graf, man. Graf, what yeah. up, baby? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm up here, man. What's up, man? Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely, man. I always like being up in here with you, man. Oh, uh, word? Okay, <laughs> cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm it's hip-hop up here. It's hip-hop, yeah, man. It's like, I like to be where it's at. It's all, it's all good energy up here, man. We yeah. ain't trying to chop your neck off, for, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that if you want me yeah, to. Yeah, right? Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. I'm good. You know, we trying to keep everybody <laughs> happy today man it's yeah, a good day I love day. that I love that what you been working on just that tape man that uh -huh. tape the 88 crack era tape the whole thing is produced by uh, DJ Ted Smooth shout out to Ted Smooth Ted Smooth my man and it just embodies that 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 real hip hop sound man that whole whole concept behind it is just like the 88 crack era it's just that not just that year but like yeah. the late 80s early 90s when hip hop was at its purest I think that that influenced me as well as the whole culture the most yeah like from the bars to the fashion. Like, even now, I got on a snapback, Air Force Ones. I got Jordans, yeah. Ewings. You know what I'm saying? So my clothing <laughs> line is inspired by all of that right now. You know what I'm saying? Even from the artists. You're talking about Big Daddy Kane's to the Rock Hems, yeah. up to Black Moon to, to Dice Effects. Mm -hmm. Then you got to the J&Is. Yeah. All that from that era is what made me rap the way I rap now. You well, know what when, I'm saying? When I look at, uh, like, uh, you know, dudes who are really fashion conscious, like ASAP Rocky or Big Sean, and I look at some of the uh, outfits they wear, mm -hmm. maybe unbeknownst to them, but these are things that people were wearing in 88. Oh, yeah, they're aware of it. That era influenced all of us. Yeah. Now, it's, it's, it's yeah. affecting our hip-hop community, which is our culture as a whole, uh -huh. the most right now. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that era... It's like history repeats itself, and it's happening right now. Exactly. Everything we doing, everything everybody we doing. running around looking like Fresh Prince. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> That's true. Speaking of Fresh Prince, man, it's a good chance that uh, he might be up here this morning. Oh yeah, yeah. Jada Pinkett Jada's Smith is coming by. up, man. Yeah. Will come up in here. We shutting down everything. Yeah, I gotta holler at Will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. We gonna play Don't Front, man. Talk to us about that. Oh, this joint is produced by Ted Smooth. It's the uh, the Black Moon beat, the uh, How Many MCs. Ooh. I just flipped it, took some pieces of his old hook, and just got creative with it, and just. Oh. Then my one-two on it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here's Graf, man. You want to talk with Ron Brown? So Graf, 888-742-3345. remember? Don't front. My man Graf right there, that 88 crack era. Yes, sir. 888-742-3345. We got uh, my man from St. Louis from St. Louis on the line. Good morning. How you doing, man? Man, I'm good, man. How you doing, sir? Doing all right. Say hello to hey. Ron Browse and Graf. What's up, Ron Brown? What's up, Graf? Hey, look. What up, so, what up, um, what up, what up? Man, I, if I ain't listening to Sway, I'm listening to the All Live Show. And they recorded, and they all had a request hour, and somebody requested Graf. They just went there, Graf. And they played this song. Graf, uh, he did a verse. He did some verses on the Dungeon Dragon. Nicki Minaj thing, man. Oh, yeah. I, I went crazy I ain't know who you. I ain't know who you were, but, bro. I thought of that shit, man. I became a fan. I'm like, man, dude slaughtered that motherfucker. Thank wow. you, man. I appreciate that, man. It's a real hip hop comment right there. For real, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. You know, Word. we got the best listeners in the world right here, man. Don P, what up, man? We yo, we yo, what up? What up? You from Harlem? You know it. Okay. There Harlem. It yeah, say what up to Ron Browse, man. Yo, yo, what up, what up, Ron? What up, man? Yo, I wanna say something to you and to Graf, yo. First first you, Ron. So I seen you, you know, doing your thing. So I want to ask, <laughs> what's your opinion? I know you heard what Jimmy said about when he said he tried, he gave you a deal. You did, you you, you know, you dumbed down or whatever. He, he he tried to give you a deal, offer you something. 
and then you ain't take it, and you went another route and got a little bullshit deal. Okay, let's start with that one. I mean, everybody entitled to their own opinion. I got to do what's best for me, and Jim had to do what's best for him in his life. You know what I mean? He he chose the right, you know, decisions for his path. I chose my path. You know what I mean? So I always was independent. I always been a boss. So, you know, that's I did what I felt was right for me. Mm-hmm. Now people could have their own opinion, but I felt it was right for me. Y'all still communicate on everything? Yeah, right yeah, yeah. We man? cool. I think yeah. cool. Shout yeah. out to uh, Jim. Shout out to Jewels. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, is that good, Don P? Because I got. Yeah, I mean, I can, that's what. Well, you want more, huh? I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I mean, nah, I, I just want to know. You know, is he happy with that decision? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I was happy with the decision. I was, you know, I I came from Harlem. I dreamed of having a record deal, and I I put myself in a position to get one. And I mean, I put out a record independent, and you know, deals came my way, and I felt like I made the right decision. You know what I mean for myself, man. Shout out to Sylvia Rome. She signed me to my first deal at Universal Motown. There it is. Okay, uh, real quick, I, I, I got to see if this is who I think it is. DJ Ron G, what up? What up? What up, Sway? It, what up, Ron Brown? What up? Shout out to the <laughs> big homie, the legend. You know, I had to call my brothers, man. I was I was out here chilling. And I said, oh man, my man Ron Brown's and my man uh, Sway. Shout out to the homie Grab, Jamaica Queens, love you. Oh yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salute my G. You're ready. Queens on deck. Hey, Ron G, man, good to see you the other day, man. Thanks for supporting, too, man. Tuned in, man. I appreciate that. No doubt. No doubt. You already know I support you, Sway. You know you wanted the real ones.